All right, guys, I didn't mean for this to be a two-part. <sighs> wife called, messed up the whole video where I was trying to do this stuff, but I think we left off on the problem with <clears throat> the um, emissions crap. And I'm sorry, this is my old phone. The video might not be good. But anyway, so, you know, I pull up in the bay where, you know, there being my proctologist and shoving crap up your freaking butt. And I'm, I've got this thing dialed in to as close, I mean, as close as you can get it. I fell by one point. One point. Just one. On the carbon monoxide side. Everything else is great. So I'm like, all right. Whatever. So I drive her back home. And I'm like, maybe, just maybe. The person that was testing that thing didn't do what they were supposed to do. So I, I didn't touch it, didn't do anything. So the next day I drive it back up to the testing station. Oh God, this time, man, I mean, the carbon monoxide is so off the wall. I mean, it, it's it's like ungodly crap going on. So, I know what the heck's going on by looking at the spark plugs, looking at everything I'm doing. I know it's right. These people that do this emission testing crap, if they can't plug a computer into your computer they ain't got a clue and that's why the car's been sitting here and it just it, I mean excuse my French but it pisses me off to the point I just want to walk up in there and slap somebody um, you know you know for a fact period you know they're not keeping that equipment clean they're not oh crap the lights here you know they're not doing what they're supposed to do because that was awesome. It's causing problems around the neighborhood and everybody's calling and fussing and talking about calling it a lot but anyway you know that the, the problem is on their end and I have called it, here's what they told me the last time that I mean I got again excuse my friend I got pissed so I called straight up and asked them, I don't understand what your problem is. I know I got a brand new freaking truck and it will not go through your system. And they're telling me this, that, and other thing, you know, and I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm, I'm, well, I just told him, I said, look, I said, every time I go in there, you stick one probe up one tailpipe. I have dual exhaust. There's no way you can read the whole system right from one reading on one tailpipe. You, you've got to do both. And you know, and the guy standing there, cause it's a government guy, whatever. Oh no, we can do it, you know, just one side, you know, it all has to do with the temperature, the heat, and no, it don't, it, it, it don't. The problem is, these people that do this freaking crap don't know what they're doing. 
they're being hired in at eight nine dollars a freaking hour and they just stick that thing wherever they want to they don't put it where it's supposed to go i've washed them i've washed them so many times they don't have a clue now i will say the state of tennessee doing pretty good man they're trying to figure out a way to get this mortar or this emissions crap out of their system which would be great that that you know great i mean the cars nowadays don't need it there's no reason for them to have it but the federal government is not going to let that happen they're, they're not that's it's a money issue i don't care what you say you can go i live on a short road <laughs> i live a half a mile from 31w and you can go a half a mile from my house and you don't have to even do more you don't have to do emissions testing you don't have to do anything you can just go license your car but on my side of the road you got to deal with that crap and you're dealing with people that barely did pass high school they don't even understand what a freaking car is so you know this is going to end up being part two because i got interrupted um but anyway man it's 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 all good you know it one day one day i have spent thirteen thousand dollars on this car and i'm not lying thirteen thousand dollars keeping it original doing what needs to be done trying to do the right thing and the state of tennessee will not let me drive my car i think that's sad and there's no telling how many other people they've done this to it's just it's wrong but whatever but there's my little walk around in the truck man and you know i'll i'll get it done i mean it passed before twice it might not pass again in my lifetime but i'll keep trying because i know what i've done is right i know the little motor is exactly what it needs to be I know for a freaking fact this little motor ain't doing right just because of reading the spark plug. There's nothing wrong with my little car. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and again, I'm sorry it got split in half because the wife called and wanted to know about dinner. And that interrupted the video, but man you people in government you people excuse my french piss me off you people are stupid and you need to get a grip you're hurting people that don't need to be hurt but anyway man i hope y'all are having a good day um uh, Hopefully, I'll get this thing started here in the next little bit. The last time I tried to start it, it wouldn't start. And I'm figuring it's just, you know, battery fuel or something. But I'll get it running. <sighs> I'll run it back through the government's idea of what the heck your car is supposed to be doing. But yet, they can run around here on jets and everything else, you know, polluting every freaking thing. And then you watch it. Sorry, I'm going to rent. Then you.